Welcome back, my friends. I have been away for a long time. Some of you may have thought I would never return, that I had died, been imprisoned, or perhaps found a normal life. But no, that is not the case. I have been working in the shadows, crafting my future with a success forged from sacrifice. Now, things are looking up once more. Today's video will be different. We delve into the depths of the soul and the forces that bind it in darkness. I will become a beacon in this bleak 21st century, revealing the grand machinations that manipulate you, keep you small, and how you can break free from this malevolent trance. Do not feel shame. The tactics and brainwashing wielded by these powers are potent and insidious. They're so powerful that even awareness does not guarantee escape. I will illuminate these dark arts through metaphors and personify these sinister tricks with various familiar characters. We begin with our diet, an often overlooked battlefield in the war for your soul. The stomach, often referred to as the second heart, holds power over our well-being that rivals even our mind. It's not just a vessel for sustenance, but a critical center of our being. When compromised, it can lead to a cascade of physical and mental decline, making us more susceptible to manipulation and control. Consider the devil's drug, sugar. This insidious substance lures you in with its sweetness, much like a charming demon who promises pleasure but delivers despair. Let us personify sugar as Azazel, a demon of temptation and deceit. Azazel whispers in your ear, offering comfort and joy with every bite. Yet, each indulgence tightens his grip, slowly poisoning your body and clouding your mind. The addiction to sugar is a chain that binds you, making you a slave to cravings and weakening your resolve. You must think of sugar as a specific manipulation technique I've already taught you, hot and cold. Sugar works in the same way. It makes you feel like you're in heaven, only to yank you back into the harsh reality you live in, possibly a hell on earth. Your mind cannot function properly under such a substance. Remember, sugar is not just found in sweets and drinks, but in every form of carbohydrates. No matter how complex, at the end of the day, it is sugar to your body. Sugar is the root, and the food people consume today is incredibly harmful. You can never achieve success with so many hurdles, almost disabilities, in your way. How can you rival others when you carry so much weight on your shoulders? So, how do you shed this weight, you ask? Your mind is only as strong as it can be given the burdens you carry. Imagine you have multiple soul-crushing issues, addictions, habits, whatever they may be, that you must battle one by one. Tackling everything at once will not work for the demons are too deeply entrenched within you. You must eradicate them one by one, and only then can you begin to strive for success when your body, soul, and mind are pure. In the timestamps, you will see the specific issues I discuss, allowing you to better address your own. I still recommend watching everything. At the end of the video, I will explain how to reclaim your soul. But first, you must identify your problems. Write them down, mentally note them, whatever it takes. Only then should you watch the conclusion of this video. Next, we turn our attention to drugs. First and foremost, sugar is one of the worst drugs because it acts as a catalyst, amplifying the effects of other substances, much like the hot and cold manipulation technique. When someone is in a bad mood and has a sugar crash, they become more vulnerable and prone to weakness. I hope you now understand why I began with sugar. So, what other drugs are there? I'll exclude the extremely hard drugs for now, as I have no experience with them and cannot offer help. Instead, we will discuss alcohol, nicotine, caffeine, weed, and cocaine. Alcohol, often seen as a social lubricant, alcohol is a deceptive demon. It lures you in with promises of relaxation and euphoria, but ultimately leaves you in a state of lethargy and self-loathing. This ties into the deadly sin of sloth, as alcohol's aftermath leaves you unmotivated, unproductive, and chained to inaction. It is the number one recreational drug worldwide and thus incredibly easy to consume. I'm not saying never to drink, but understand the consequences. A few days of immense brain fog, self-inflicted neurotoxicity, and a disrupted hormonal balance filled with excess estrogen. The additional sugar in beer, wine, and mixed drinks only worsens the effect. Moreover, alcohol prevents you from dreaming, which is crucial for your mind. Dreams are where your brain processes the personalities and stories circulating in your life. Without this processing, 
your mind becomes cluttered and more susceptible to manipulation. A sharp mind is essential for effective manipulation. You need to be able to understand and analyze the personalities and stories around you to foresee their moves and counter them with precision. If your mind is in a constant haze, you cannot effectively grasp the subtleties and nuances needed to control others. Nicotine, the demon of dependency. Nicotine hooks you quickly, embedding itself in your daily routines. Everyone knows how harmful it is to your health, but the damage it does to your mind is even more insidious. The dependency it creates is a chain around your neck, tightening with every hit. It convinces you that you need it to function, manipulating your brain into craving it constantly. But it goes beyond mere addiction. Nicotine makes you stink and projects an image of failure. It tarnishes your presence, making you seem utterly pathetic and weak. Everything that influences your mind, every drag of that cigarette, makes your head sicker and less capable. You are no longer your own master. You are a slave to the demon, shackled and controlled by its toxic grip. Caffeine, the illusionist. Caffeine, historically, was discovered and cultivated to serve as a tool for productivity. Its origins trace back to ancient civilizations, where it was used to enhance alertness and endurance. However, its true rise to prominence came during the Industrial Revolution. Factory owners and capitalists saw caffeine as the perfect substance to turn humans into tireless worker drones, keeping them productive and obedient while their bodies and minds wore down. Caffeine offers a temporary boost, a fleeting sense of alertness and capability, but this is a false sense of security. Over time, it drains your natural energy reserves, making you dependent on it just to stay awake and functional. It's a cycle of highs and lows, much like the hot and cold tactic we discussed with sugar. The illusion of increased productivity masks the gradual decay of your mental and physical health. You become a slave to the stimulant, trapped in a perpetual state of exhaustion and dependency. The use of caffeine transforms you into a mere cog in the machine, efficient but ultimately expendable. Your true potential is suppressed as you become reliant on this illusion of energy, unable to function without it. This dependency makes you easier to control, a puppet whose strings are pulled by the demands of constant productivity and relentless work. Weed, the escapist's drug. Often touted for its medicinal benefits, weed has become a coping drug for reality deniers and the lazy, hiding under the guise of therapeutic use. While it may offer temporary relief, its true effect on the mind is far more sinister. Weed slowly transforms your mind into a haze of gray cells, dulling your cognitive abilities and making you progressively dumber. Each puff erodes your sharpness, your wit, and your drive. Instead of confronting and overcoming challenges, you retreat into a fog of complacency and lethargy. The more you use it, the more you disengage from reality, slipping into a state of passive existence. This self-imposed mental fog makes you an easy target for manipulation and control. Your ability to think critically, to question and challenge, diminishes with every use. The demon of weed lulls you into a false sense of security, convincing you that you're fine when, in reality, you're sinking deeper into a quagmire of mediocrity and dependency. Your ambitions fade, your goals blur, and you become a shadow of your former self, trapped in a perpetual state of numbness and stagnation. Cocaine, the devil's elixir. Cocaine provides a powerful high, a surge of confidence and euphoria that can make you feel invincible. It is often considered the most useful drug for its ability to boost performance and enhance feelings of self-worth. However, this false self-confidence is a double-edged sword. It inflates your ego, making you overconfident and often reckless. You begin to believe in your own invincibility, losing touch with reality and becoming blind to your vulnerabilities. Cocaine is also the most expensive drug, both in monetary cost and in the toll it takes on your life. It may seem beneficial to take it once you've achieved everything or are celebrating significant successes. But beware, the abyss it opens is deep and unforgiving. Stare too long into it and it will stare back, pulling you into a spiral of addiction and ruin. The high it offers is fleeting and the crash that follows is brutal, leaving you desperate for more and willing to sacrifice everything for another taste. To conclude this segment on drugs, remember, you attract what you are. People who consume these substances 
are often absolute failures, hiding behind the temporary relief and false confidence they provide. They are not masters of their destinies, but slaves to their vices, living in the shadows of their potential. If you wish to rise above, to manipulate and control with a sharp mind and a strong will, you must avoid these pitfalls. Your success depends on your clarity, your health, and your ability to remain unchained by these insidious demons. Next, we turn our attention to modern distractions, smartphones, social media, entertainment, and pornography. These are the new tools of manipulation, designed to keep you docile and distracted, far from the path of self-mastery and true power. Smartphones, the ever-present device in your pocket. It connects you to the world, but it also chains you to it. Look around you. People are like cyborgs without their own thoughts, trapped in a miserable bubble of ignorance, devoid of free thinking. Every notification, every buzz, pulls your attention away from the present moment. Your mind becomes fragmented, unable to focus deeply on any one task. This constant distraction weakens your mental fortitude, making you more susceptible to external influences and less capable of deep, critical thinking. Smartphones destroy your most important ability, focus. Focus is the secret of every successful person. It makes you invincible, but how can you achieve it? When your mind is bombarded with unnecessary chatter, day after day, the endless stream of messages, notifications, and social media updates keeps you in a perpetual state of distraction. Your mind never rests, constantly shifting from one trivial piece of information to another, preventing you from engaging in deep, meaningful thought. Consider this, check your screen time from the past week and calculate how much time you've wasted on this devil's device. Hours upon hours lost to mindless scrolling and pointless interactions. This is time you could have spent honing your skills, learning new things, or simply reflecting on your goals and aspirations. Embrace boredom. When was the last time you allowed yourself to be bored? to sit quietly without the constant stimulation of your smartphone. Boredom is not your enemy. It is a gateway to creativity and introspection. It is in these moments of silence and stillness that your mind can wander, explore new ideas, and solve complex problems. By constantly reaching for your smartphone, you rob yourself of this valuable mental space. Think more. Understand? Think more. Use the time you would have spent on your smartphone to read, to write, to meditate, Engage in activities that stimulate your mind and foster deep thinking. This is how you reclaim your focus and sharpen your intellect. By breaking free from the chains of your smartphone, you liberate your mind and pave the way for true personal growth and mastery. Social media, the playground of narcissism and comparison. Platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter lure you in with the promise of connection and validation, but they also foster insecurity and envy. You see only the top 1% of someone else's life. If you are not an influencer, delete your social media accounts or keep them private. This narcissistic behavior of showcasing things you don't have is embarrassing. Doom scrolling leads to endless hours wasted and before you know it another day has passed believe me social media poisons you delete it or use it consciously if you need it use it for its intended purpose communication or use YouTube but don't get lost in other people's lives make your own life worthwhile don't get me wrong platforms like YouTube have their good sides but only if used correctly for learning avoid videos that make you dumber subscribe to channels you genuinely like and watch only those for example my YouTube for you page consists only of music Music clips and a few channels that truly help you grow. Please do me a favor and spit out the blue pill that has been shoved down your throat. We are slowly approaching the end, my friends, and it is time for my advice and the path I have taken and continue to take to ward off all the things we have discussed. Let's talk about entertainment and porn, starting with entertainment. Entertainment, yes. There are good movies and series, but do they bring you closer to your ultimate goal? Tell me, I don't think so. Of course, there are exceptions where entertainment can be useful, on dates or social gatherings, for instance. But if you find yourself seriously binge-watching series alone at home, get a grip on yourself. You are wasting time and allowing your mind to be filled with movie propaganda. Be better than that. Entertainment, when consumed excessively, turns you into a passive consumer, numbing your drive and ambition. You become comfortable in the world of fantasy, neglecting your goals and responsibilities in the real world. Time wasted on mindless entertainment is time you could have spent advancing your skills, pursuing your passions, and working towards your goals. Pornography. Now to the worst of all, porn. Pornography destroys you, 
and your sense of intimacy. It makes you awkward around women, causes you to lose respect for yourself, and essentially makes you watch other men. Do you realize how embarrassing that is? Porn rewires your brain, creating unrealistic expectations and diminishing your ability to form real, meaningful connections. It offers a quick fix of pleasure, but at a high cost, leading to feelings of shame, isolation, and decreased self-esteem. It turns your natural desires into a source of weakness, making you easy to manipulate and control. Seek true love, passion, and something that can benefit you. How do you expect to achieve this as a loser? I'll tell you, it doesn't work. Give it up quickly. Pornography destroys your sense of intimacy, leaving you disconnected from genuine human interaction. It's a powerful trap that saps your energy, motivation, and ability to form real bonds. You become a shadow of your potential, trapped in a cycle of shame and dependency. So, those were all the points that came to mind. If I missed anything, or if you have general video suggestions, leave a comment. I really do read every single one. I appreciate your support, even if it doesn't always seem that way. You might be wondering, Eovilius, how do I regain the power of my soul and unlock my full potential? You must have a plan. This is crucial. Structure is essential. Systematically eradicate the demons I mentioned and discard the social contacts that drag you down like toys you no longer need. At the end of the day, victory is what matters, isn't it? Once you've done that, gradually wean yourself off one bad habit at a time. I recommend taking two weeks per bad habit or addiction. Otherwise, your mind won't handle it. For me, this process took several months as I had many issues to address, both socially and within myself. And most importantly, replace these habits with something else, or they will pull you back. For example, my replacement for entertainment and constant partying was this channel. It gives me the satisfaction I need. But please, remain social. You need it to succeed. Meet people. Have fun with them. Manipulate them, whatever it takes. Always look out for yourself. Be an egoist. Only by doing so will you get ahead in life. Use every opportunity and exploit everyone to get closer to your goal, whatever it may be. When you have finally eradicated all your problems, you can start anew. You will be connected with your soul again and capable of achieving anything. My goal is to grow this channel, to start a movement. But don't misunderstand. I don't seek millions of subscribers. I want to expand my circle with competent people. This circle, let's call it Project Mayhem, already exists in real life. But I want to expand it and gain more power with you all so that we can celebrate our perfect victory together and look down on the pawns, the scum, the dirt, everyone who ever called you evil or didn't believe in you. And I will be the shadow that catches up with these people and shows them true superiority. Follow me and you will undoubtedly become more powerful. In the video description, you will find the link for Telegram. I will launch it within 10 days of uploading this video and you will be able to communicate with me personally. My time is valuable. Do not waste it. Until next time, your Iovilius. And I assure you, I will never forget you. We will see each other in Tokyo, my friends. Now everything that was in my way is gone.